Hello fellow missionaries, welcome back to Mission Viewfinder. Today's vlog is going to be simple, but hopefully something that will be a blessing to you because I'm about to share something with you that was really a blessing to me when, I, when this came to my realization just recently. And it all started with, I was reading in the book of Genesis in the very beginning, chapter three, you know, Adam and Eve, they're in the garden. God told them not to eat of the fruit of the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And it just struck me that when God asked them to not eat of the fruit of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, he was asking them to trust that he knew what was best, even though they hadn't experienced what the results would be if they didn't obey. He was asking them to choose to obey without knowing what it would be like if they didn't obey. And it really just struck me as such a core issue in our day and age. A lot of times it's like, well, I haven't experienced the adverse results of disobeying God in this area of my life, so I'm just going to keep doing what I want to do. And we don't choose to trust that God knows what's best for us, even, sorry about the motorbike, we don't, we don't have the faith to believe that God really knows what's best for us, you know, because we haven't experienced it. And so it's like, okay, God was asking them to believe him that doing X was not a good idea. And there's things in my life that God asked me to trust him, that it's not a good idea to do them even though I haven't experienced the results or I haven't experienced doing that. So I was sharing this with a group of fellow believers on a Sabbath morning recently. And one of the other people in the group piped in and said, you know, that's a really important thing to understand. And he brought up another point, and I just, I have to back up here because in my own personal thinking, I've often had this thinking that if I haven't been through what this person is going through, how do I help them? Like, I can't relate, you know, how am I supposed to be an encouragement to them if I haven't experienced it? Sorry, this got so dark. Um, anyway, so I had this thought, I've had this thought in the back of my mind, and what he brought up next was just like, wow. And that is that the fact that we haven't done something is not to be like put down. We're not to think ourselves less qualified to reach out to people just because we haven't done it. The fact that we haven't done it is just as much a testimony of God's power to keep us from sin or deliver us from sin as for somebody who did do it and he had to pull them out of it. Like it's just as much a testimony of God's power, but not just that. That in no way should keep us from thinking that we can help people who have gone through these things that we haven't gone through. Because, and here is here was a thing that really just clinched it all for me, was Jesus, as it says in Hebrews, was tempted in all points like as we are yet without sin. That means he was tempted in every area that we are tempted in, but he didn't actually do those things. He didn't do those things. And so this really struck me. I was like, wow, Jesus didn't do these things and he can help me. You know, for example, I was just reviewing this morning in John chapter 4, part of John chapter 4, where he helped the woman at the well. Had he ever committed adultery? Absolutely not. But was he able to help her? Absolutely yes. And it was just like, wow. Like, this is just another one of the lies of the devil. To think that, well, if I haven't been a Buddhist, then I can't help Buddhists. Or if I've never done drugs and alcohol, then I can't help somebody who's trying to get out of drugs and alcohol. Yes, yeah, somebody who's been there and has a testimony of God getting them out of it, that's a powerful thing. But the truth is, the fact that God has kept us out of that is still a testimony. Because the truth is, we all face these tests. We all face these temptations. Even if we haven't given in to them, we still have been tempted. And maybe we've given in some other little aspect of the same category of sin. So my encouragement to all of us is to really put aside this way of thinking that if I haven't been there, I can't help this person. God can use us to help anybody. It doesn't matter how old or young they are, how old or young we are. It doesn't matter where we've been, where they've been. With the Holy Spirit working in and through us, we can be a blessing to the people around us. God can use us and He will. So that's my encouragement for you guys this week. We hope you are blessed and that you will join us here on Mission Viewfinder for another video next week.